welcome back or welcome to my cup of tv i'm jenny jd so we have a patron request from faith a hello hello someone new for us yeah um, jd was just checking do i know this person are they on my list no dean idea. no and we also wanted to check if they were a korean artist or because dean's a very common name here <laughs> yeah, i was like who's a dean what do um, you know? yeah so don't know anything going in song is called Bonnie and Clyde that sound yeah it's from seven years ago that sounds did you say they're potentially I like more R&B, R&B or hip hop yeah. that sounds very R&B hip hop but it's yeah. song called Bonnie and Clyde yeah um, but yeah I always like checking out new artists yeah so. especially older artists because yes. it's all well and good when all the new artists are coming out and they're all like 15 <laughs> but oh, there are some gems you want some the yeah. Ones, yeah and there's some some I don't know, just some some maturity and some yeah yeah that comes with the older older artists. Love it. And I, you know, I want to get a full fully rounded look at Korean music, not mm. just not just K-pop, no. and K-bands, but older, new, yeah, male, female, like yeah. I have I have a lot of different yeah. ones on on my playlist. I have some K-rap, K-R-B, and yeah. I don't want to restrict myself. For sure. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the comments. Dean, is there a fandom and fandom name? Is there a light stick? All <laughs> <laughs> the important stuff. Yeah. Um, and recommend songs, yeah, please. Yeah. There's yeah. no subs. Okay. We're good at picking up vibes. Yeah. Well, you know what, as well, because... No, sorry, we're just guess, guesstimating what genre it is. We have no idea. But if it is more sort of R&B, there could be some vocals you know because you get some r&b artists that can kind of thing so yeah i'm going r&b i'm sure i read somewhere r&b you know there, there's a reason that that i've got that <laughs> no no it's a bonnie and clyde <laughs> trot song <laughs> it's gonna be a bonnie and clyde who knows we're open to anything that's here <laughs> fuck he is british it's dean <laughs> VHS player. <laughs> this is a throwback. Cassette tapes.
quite trippy, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about the song, but the MV was different, and I'm surprised it didn't come with a warning. Mmm. Yeah, I I like the song. I think there's some there's some really nice layering in there, some vocals and whatnot. And I think if I heard the song alone, it's a bit of a smooth yeah. bop. But that along with obviously the and and again, I'd I'd love to know what the lyrics said because there, there wasn't any yeah. subs on it, and whatnot. So you know, just to understand more what he's singing about but just on that face value interpretation yeah the video that they've made to go along with it like you said it's quite trippy and it's quite sad because at the beginning i was like oh this is quite smooth yeah. and sexy and it's kind of you know oh nice you know but then it kind of went a little bit dark yeah which is ironic because of all the color that was in it but i was like no this is dark yeah from the mv i took a kind of bonnie and clyde us against the world and then it took this turn of, so without you, mm. it almost like a Romeo up. and Juliet yeah, like thing. I can't. Yeah, because yeah. then she was gone yeah. from the car, but yeah, he had the blood on the boot. Yeah, and then and then it flipped, and then it was actually the person watching them in the living room, and yeah. he shot him through the TV. And yeah. yeah, I don't know. So that's what I mean. It was kind of a thing, and then it just took this flip, and I was like, oh, this is quite dark. But but then could it have been a bit trippy because? maybe they're trying to represent like a a mental break like a mental health kind of well he's not in his right mind i, th I think the characters yeah. of bonnie and clyde that that's fair enough to describe that because they they obviously what was it they rob banks and things all together yeah, and yeah not so like the movie or not oh, but know. It's, obviously they're, they're a um like a criminal i couple, just know the so. term yeah that it's a criminal couple yeah now, but uh yeah so i don't know um be intrigued to, to learn yeah. more about it and what it was actually meant but just yeah on those this it's interesting we got sort of the same initial interpretation but the song itself yeah i'd be interested to hear more I, from him because his voice sounds very I good i can hear my head that funny clyde funny clyde bit mm, I, yeah. yeah and almost it, there was one of the color trippy thingies was almost like a, 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 like a merry-go-round or a carousel yeah. and again where it's keep going that could actually quite easily become creepy yeah you know what i mean but it all, all that haunting um but luckily I didn't feel that so but I could see how it could go that yeah. way but yeah no I'd be intrigued to hear more of him because even just from that I could hear that he's actually got quite a good voice yeah um, that's quite nice and I don't know whether it's just the fact that they went that dark with the MV or a vibe he gave and I know we said at the beginning it was like 999 Blackpool and I joked mm. I wonder whether he has either lived in or grown up in the UK or the US you know mm. I got a a feeling that maybe they have lived in Western mm. culture as well. Well, if not, that's a very interesting... I don't know any K-pop idol or, or, or sorry, um, an artist, a Korean artist that would be like, I know where, Blackpool. <laughs> Do you know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah, well, to just be the MV No offence to Blackpool. Director. But you could choose it, yeah. You, do you know what I mean? I just... I, you get a feel sometimes that they've had well, that's those influences. Quite... That is quite envelope pushing in a way of what we see is allowed and blurred out on Korean TV. Mm. But then also, is that just because there is darker stuff in KR&B and K-hip-hop and K-rap rather than just yeah. if you're predominantly used to seeing the K-pop, the yeah. yeah. So there's definitely some darker stuff out there. Um, but yeah, it could be interesting if, they, if he's got some Western influence or background or whatnot, why he chose that. Yeah. But yeah, good, I like the song. And I'm intrigued to hear more of him because I think he's mm. got a nice voice um, and there were some of them shots where I don't know the background with the neon gun and the Bonnie and Clyde sign and whatnot but yeah. Yeah, he looked very handsome Yeah, in that black hoodie with that black undercut haircut and his beautiful skin and I was like yeah I mean don't yeah. get me wrong he seems like sort of naughty boy that should come with a warning because he could cause you some trouble and with that dark, that MV going dark, you'd be yeah. like, okay, we need, we need, I need to know about you first before I commit to anything. I like a bit of trouble. Yeah, you, 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 you like crazy attracts you. So we don't have to talk about that. <coughs> but yeah, no, he was very handsome and um, and he had a nice voice. So I'm intrigued to learn more. Thank uh, you, thank you, Faith. Yeah. <laughs> that was our reaction to Dean, Bonnie, and Clyde. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.